If you look closely at this beer, you'll glimpse the history of life. Begin with the water itself. Remarkable stuff. The very same hydrogen and oxygen atoms that once filled ancient oceans, home to Earth's first life. Home, more than a billion years ago, to our single-celled ancestors, those clever eukaryotes that figured out the awkward business of sexual reproduction, and home, too, to the wild host of life that followed. Scales, tentacles, monsters of the deep. This uh, bizarre dog-rat creature, the unsightly ancestor of modern whales. They first doggy paddled and then swam the waters of the Western Atlantic until the oceans receded and what once was a seabed became a Virginia swamp, a soggy graveyard full of ancient bones. Meanwhile, on land, other mammals were evolving. Opposable thumbs, bipedalism, and huge brains. This particular mammal's brain spends a lot of time thinking about those hideous ancient whales and their bones. And from time to time, bad science puns. Fossils rock. He collects fossilized whale bones from the swamps where they have marinated for millennia. After a long day of bone collecting, he sits down with a chilled beverage, a beer invented thousands of years ago with the help of yeast, a distant relative. Yes, brewer's yeast is also a descendant of those same ancient sexy cells, but unlike mammals, yeast hasn't changed much since the old days. It did pick up one trick though, making a chemical that impedes mammalian brain function. And, after one or two beers, this mammal had a thought. Yeast is everywhere. It's in the air on plants, on humans, in swamps. Could beer be made from the swamp yeast harvested off these whale bones? He sent yeast samples from his collection to this man, whose brain spends a lot of time thinking about fermentation and who diligently attempted to make beer from the swamp yeast. Awful, disgusting, rubbish, revolting until, with yeast scraped off the ugliest ancient whale of them all, a winner. To recap, a group of sex-crazed single cells gave rise to a great host of species, and one of the species collected another species off the bones of a third species, and made, with some effort, this beer. It is appropriate, then, that when we raise our glasses, we make a toast to life. Brewmasters know this brewer's gold, the best cup from the vine. They brew it into Valentine for flavor genuine. It's got that golden flavor. Brewmasters know this brewer's gold, the best cup from the vine. They brew it into Valentine for flavor genuine. It's got that golden flavor. Brew